Hi and welcome. My name is Jamie Hartley, the founder and DJ tutor here at Crossfader, the online DJ school. Now in today's video, we're going to break down five ways that you can use Serato Pitch and Time DJ. This is an expansion pack for Serato DJ Pro, and I've got to let you into a little secret. It's actually one of my favorites. The license key for this expansion pack actually ships with some of the controllers. For example, something like the Pioneer DDJ SX3 comes with it, so you don't have to buy it separately. But other controllers can still make use of it. Something like the add-on controller, the Pioneer DDJ SP1 can actually make use of Serato DJ's pitch and time. And so can any other controller because you can activate it within the software itself. There are dedicated buttons on certain controllers like the SX3. You can actually find it on something like the SP1, even though it isn't labeled on there. And I'll put up a list on the screen of how to access pitch play, for example, on different controllers that are available on the market. It's something you might actually own and not quite aware of yet. We're about to explain five different creative ways that you can use this expansion pack. Please remember at the end of the video to drop a comment which one is your favorite. I'd love to hear back some feedback from you guys watching at home. Also remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff to help us keep making more videos like this. Enjoy and I hope you learn a few things along the way. After entering the license key or purchasing the Serato Pitch and Time DJ expansion, you'll need to activate it within the Serato DJ Pro setting. We can do this in the expansion packs tab just here. You will then notice that the key lock button has disappeared and been replaced by Serato's Pitch and Time logo. This example taken from one of our Sunday DJ skills videos actually uses Beyonce's Crazy in Love. We flipped it using Serato Flip to make a new loop and then using the key shift buttons, pitch that loop up and down to create a whole new pattern and add a bit of flair into the mix. For this example, we're going to create a buildup that rises in pitch by using the key shift buttons to pitch up the loop as we tighten it. After we've created the rising buildup, we then just switch the drop to another track. Serato Pitch and Time isn't just about key shifting, it's also a powerful time stretching tool. By using Serato Pitch and Time, you can stretch any track to drastic BPM tempo changes and it still sounds nice and clean. <laughs> Here is another transition example. This time we're going the opposite way and picking the speed up into a drum and bass track. A really simple but useful way to use Serato's pitch and time is to key sync. The key sync allows you to mix tracks together that wouldn't normally mix in key. A word of warning though, try not to allow the tracks to be synced by more than one or two semitones up or down. This might start making your mix sound a bit unnatural. Thank you. 
Thanks so much for watching this far. I hope that you've learned a few things in these five creative ways to use Serato DJ's pitch and time. Please remember to subscribe and I'll see you in another video just like this one very soon.